Lord, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of a virgin, lived a perfect, holy, and sinless life, was crucified and died, buried and raised again to three days. And now, Lord, is at the right hand, making intercession for us. And we know, as your word says, whoever has the Son has life, and whoever doesn't have the Son does not have life. Thank you, God, for your providence and love in selecting us and choosing us, giving us the Son that we may have life. And we pray, Lord, that we would hold fast the profession of our faith. Thank you, Lord, that you keep us, that you teach us, and even brought us here, even brought us here today, each and every one of us, for you have something for us today, Lord. We pray that you would open our eyes in a fresh way, Lord, to see you, to receive from you, that we may love you and live for you more. For we need you, Lord. We confess to you that we're sinful people. And without Christ, Lord, we would certainly be destined for hell eternally. But because of Christ, because we have the Son, because of what you did, all of what you did, we have life, abundant life, and the hope to be with you forever, to worship you. So Lord, help us to please you in this life, to grow closer, to have our thoughts upon you, every minute, every second, Lord, in all that we do. We pray that we would honor you and live, Lord, a life that you've commanded us to live. As you said, be holy, for you are holy. Lord, <clears throat> help us, we pray. Commit our time to you now. We thank you for this opportunity to worship you, to give, to hear your word. We pray that you be glorified in this service. For we ask in Christ's name, amen. 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 <coughs> ជាស្ដាប់ទាំងស្ដាប់ជាមហាស្ដាប់ទាំងមហាស្ដាប់នៅលៀតថ្ងៃនេះទូបង្គំទាំងអស់គ្នាបានមានចិត្តចូលមក
ហើយគាត់ទៅអង្គដែលព្រះអង្គបានតែព្រះអង្គគឺជាទីពឹងដោយយើងទាំងអស់គ្នាគឺមានតែព្រះអង្គមួយទេដែលយើងទាំងអស
rau bàn để lên bàn đây đi xong phai tập ong đang bay dọc tập bầm ra cái ca nghe to trùng nơi bàn đây nâng nơi thảm xù đo nè bạc thảm đo nè mình cầm bìa đo nè thương sạch tư chia đồng vai đi đang dọc tập ra ai tu bằng cung tôm o bạc côn trùng ong ai đồng vai đây bỏ ong sập ở đây tư chia đồng vai đây đuông chặt đuông phần lưng rụp cài âm phơi ba bảo bọc cồn đại thoại đại tọa trùng mẹ mẹ thu bằng cung bàn thoại đại tọa trùng ai nơi bình liên ngày nay thu bằng cung xong thoại sau đây là o đào bằng xong tông bằng thu bằng cung thoại cái cá này nông phần liên bằng chặt bởi giê xu kri amen Thank you for that, if you can still hear me. <clears throat> and uh, just another reminder that uh, today after Pastor's sermon, if uh, <clears throat> the Khmer speaking uh, congregation could stay here and the English, <clears throat> when it's over, will come directly here and we will uh, worship together before the uh, second part of the service. So if you could remember that, thank you. <clears throat> 
เอาคนบอกเจกามเล็กได้บางแทกกับบ้านท่าบรรยากาศแต่จองแต่โจรูมตีกุมซานเราเราม่มือเล็กนึงเอาเตียตรงจมวยฮันนาหรือก็เองโจหรือก็เดวิดอเมริกบางคนนะแต่จองแต่โจรูมขนมไก่กาหนึ่งไอ้บาดเจ็บนั่งบนต่อการไปทีอย่างเตี้ยส่งบางคนสำรวจจัดดำไปนั่งสลับนกเตรียมตัวบ่อยยืนได้จีจำในอาหารติดทางบริเวณนี้โดยฉะนั้นยังสมใจกระดุมเตี้ยสินะอะไรฮาวบองบราดทรานสเลต All good information but just two different things บางบริษัท meant to say this บางบริษัทก็จังยิ่งเช่นนั้นมั้งนะแต่ถ้าเราไปได้ยังโดเวนคนี้ชุนส่งเจอบางคนกำไปเชี่ยมตลับมาเวนยังไปเชี่ยมเติมกุมปองอ่อยบานเป่งมาก็จังไก่จังมั้งตอนนั้นก็สปีกันทางตู้สลับตู้ลิสโอฟเซย์หายเขียมก็จังอุ้มรักจุนบางคนได้ Uh, I would like to say this in English first, so we can break up into two uh, groups. Uh, keep in mind that when we hear all the rumbling sounds, the little angel flying up here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, this probably is as a way of supporting the worship of the the angel of the Lord God. You know, I don't know, but maybe we have a little special request to Pastor Bill. To ask those little angel to fly someplace else, <laughs> or maybe borrow their wings for now. <laughs> just clip it or something. It just uh, well, uh, anyway, um, just a practical thing. So please be aware and uh, send one of our officers. Mung Pen normally take care of that issue, but he has a lot of thing on his hand. He controls the audio and video and technology and so forth. So. Because of that, we might want to support him, assist him to go and ask the, um, the, the other church to kind of keep those little tiny heels down. Believe it or not, when you go up there, you see maybe one or two little tiny heels. Only, it sounds like a million, uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of angels, <laughs> but actually only one or two little scrawny little kids. I don't know why it sounds so improvised, but anyway, that's out of the way. Um, I would like to also remind you, count the blessing that the Lord has lent us time for half of the years already. Half of the years that the Lord lent us that time. We spend, I hope, hopefully, we spend half of 2019 wisely, joyfully. So let us continue the other half of the 2019 uh, to honor God and to enjoy life as Christians and brothers and sisters in the Lord. And in that, I remind you, connect to the uh, summer vacation, camping, whatnot. And just remember, before you know it, Thanksgiving is here. Let us, let us fatten up for Turkey. Let us get ready for Thanksgiving celebration. Fall season is beautiful. I, I'm not personal. This is, <laughs> this is a subjective here. I love fall season and Thanksgiving and Christmas and so on. So let's get ready. And also, those of you who are in the music department, I praise God for you, thank God for you. And a little footnote in here, as you notice that our technology is very, very sad. We are behind schedule, we're behind technology. It's about 20 years, everything frees up. You know, we press a button, a few minutes later, the slice, you know, you, you notice all of that. So continue to be patient. I praise God for your worshipful heart and patient heart and continue to worship God even though we have a lot of techno technological problem issue with our technology, our equipment. Pray that the Lord not only help us to continue to grow in a mature, patient, worshipful spirit and character in worshiping Him regardless our technology is bad, but also pray to the Lord that He might bless us new equipment, like new computer, new technologies and so on, so we just press the button. Just, yeah, just professionally, um, 
I don't no, don't really want to be like a mega church and giant screen or anything, but at least just enough to just reasonably on the very bottom um, of the of the updated technology. So pray about that. But anyway, go back to worship and so on. We will start soon to prepare our Thanksgiving and Christmas program practice and it's joyful and you all know that every year we have that practice and we have that worship. What we practice worshiping God, we are worshiping God while we practicing worshiping God. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's very, very much a blessing. And a fellowship grows strong. We are together. We care for one another. And the Cambodian style, you know, we never go without food. <laughs> Cambodian, you know, as much as we eat, we're still small. I don't know why. Maybe we eat the wrong thing. But um, it's a good thing, fellowship and, and, and practice and so on. So, so thank Thanksgiving Christmas is coming, beautiful time of the year, and I just want to say a, a, a couple more things, and I was blessed this morning, I don't know if you noticed or not, it reminds me of my younger age, and this is in 1980, the early 80s, when I first um, immersed myself into the American cultures and church and Christianity, and I heard this passage over and over too ingrained to my soul when I hear that it's just like naturally in my instinct, my blood are bubbling with this passage, is John 3, 16, which our leader this morning prayed, if you notice that he prayed, and I love this worship opening, welcome pray, incorporate the, the passage of the Bible in it, you know, it's not beautiful, beautiful. Number one is a passage in there. Number two is personal memory, you know, especially John 3, 16, the only begotten Son of God. Oh, I love that phrase. The only begotten Son of God, that name, no name under heaven and on earth, that man shall be saved. It's a name that saved people sinner. And personally, I was saved, I am saved, I will be saved mm -hmm. under that powerful name and all of us like that too. So I value that a lot. I appreciate you, Brother Ted, who uh, came up here this morning to welcome our church and to start opening prayer with beautiful prayer, but above all, beyond the passage that came from the very heart of the Bible, John 3.16. I appreciate that very much. And I also would like to remind you not only to pray for our technologies, our finance and so on, pray for, continue to pray for our dear brothers and sisters in Cambodia. As you know, we minister to, to, to poor region, to poor nation, to poor uh, society and cultures and people. Therefore, a baggage of, of illness and sickness and poverty is on our bag, on, on our load, our shoulders. But I'm not complaining. I am very, very blessed, very honored to be serving God with you and serving our poor people. Our people, I don't necessarily mean ethnicity or nationality, I mean the children of God so happen to be in Cambodia. And I love it, but count on it, count on it. They have needs every hour. They have needs every hour, they're sick every minute. It's absolutely normal, absolutely normal. Therefore, let us not be surprised, beloved. The need is great, the need is great. Beyond that, the fields are ripe, it's all white. We need worker, we need servant of God, we need evangelists, we need, we need elders and deacons and pastors and assistant pastors. Therefore, pray to the Lord of Harvest that he sent us workers. Whether rise up godly men and women within this church or outside this church or outside this country or even from Cambodia, let it be so. Let it be so. We pray and faithfully pray and faithfully humbly open our mind, our eyes to receive what God ways and wills and plan us and we receive we receive it receptor we receive it joyfully but continue to faithfully pray 
And God, and if you know, you and I know our God is a rich God, a powerful God, the Almighty God, the Creator, Sustainer of the universe. There's nothing He lacks. However, He allowed us, children of God, to work together, to come together in one mind, one heart, one spirit, one mission, one goal, to strive together with our low, our tight budget and finance in order to glorify Him with what we have so little. So come, continue to pray, to ask God all this need. Our people are sick. Our people are seriously ill in Cambodia, physically, medically, clinically. And that's one side. The other side is poverty, food, just food, just basic water. Believe it or not, the whole country lack of water because water is so polluted. There's a long story. You can go and read the news um, in uh, international news how Cambodia is now so polluted. With, um, with everything, even water. Water. Let alone food, let alone medicine, and let alone uh, technologies and so on. So there's a lot of need. However, let us have the spirit of facing Goliath Mountain as a God who nothing is impossible to him. Let us face that. So remember to pray for our, our brothers and sisters who are very ill and ill, and pray for leaders, and pray for our finance, because our church has the responsibility and opportunity and privilege to carry that burden or that load or that responsibility, whether for here or overseas and everywhere. But above all, all of that just tools, all of that just equipment and tools and peripherals to bring the gospel to the lost soul and ultimately, above all, the gospel to the lost soul, the glory to God. Let us keep in mind everything that we do, whether on a physical or spiritual side, whether local or overseas. This is to bring the glory to God. That's above all. A lot of times we think about lost soul. Yeah, lost soul is good. Yeah, gospel to the lost soul is absolutely great. Above all, in everything in human love, that's what Christ came to save, which was lost. But even that, we are doing all of that, everything, to glorify God. Remember, even our own faith, our own growth, our spiritual, all good. Our practice, our living, Christian living, and ethic and philosophies and worldview, everything. Worship, even worship. A lot of times say, how can you miss worship and not glorify God? Yes, a lot of times we worship God. We, Christian churches, worship God without honoring God. Why, how does that work? Because it's man center, because it's art center, because it's performance center instead of God center. God, worshiping God. So let us continue to worship God today. And it's a blessed day that God made for us that the breath we have, the life that we have, the soul that we have, the soul that eternally with God even from now, look at the joys and peace and love and, 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 and new nature in us. That is given to us. Let us rejoice. And again, let us worship God through our joy, and like the song say, joy and pain, rich or poor, thick or thin. Let us worship God today. Let us continue to worship God in our language group. Please follow Pastor Dave.